Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Adrian. Hope you guys are, you guys are probably still asleep, but I'm up. It's about 5.45 this morning. So today is Tuesday, March 9th. It's exactly 30 days till my birthday. And I am up this morning bright and early because I am going to take a notary class and I am going to be taking you guys along with me on my journey. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers so I can get monetized on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for following me thus far along this journey. I hope you are enjoying it and I have so much more to share with you. So let's go ahead and get started with our day. So I have made it downstairs to my car. I got dressed, looking all fancy today, and I am headed to Rocky Mount for my notary class. Um, I have to stop and get gas, and then I'm gonna stop and get like maybe a biscuit to eat on the way, and then we'll be headed to the campus. Hey guys so i finally made it here to rocky mount i'm getting ready to go and look for this class and go ahead and get started but i'll check back in with you guys afterwards to let you know how my day went all right y'all so i'm out here on break we just took our first break of the day and um i just walked outside to get some air get some sunshine it's really a beautiful day out here which is really nice and um drinking some water and um yeah that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you kind of the area, what it looks like. So this is Rocky Mount. Um, this is like a side entrance right here, but this is pretty much the campus, this building right here. So yeah, I'm going to head back in. We have a lunch at 12 o'clock and um, then we're going to take the test like around, I think two, she said, two or 2.30. So everything's going good so far. We actually have a really, really good instructor. She's super nice, super helpful. Hey y'all, so um, I just got done eating lunch. Um, I didn't film any of it because I'm kind of sort of ready to just get back in class and just kind of sit down and maybe look over the material a little bit more. Um, I had cookout, by the way. I had um, two chili dogs, which is like mustard, ketchup, chili, and coleslaw and onions. So I had that, but I only ate one of them I have a white head coming right here i only ate one hot dog and a few of my fries because i don't want to get like overstuffed and then i don't really feel like doing anything and then i can't focus in the class so um i'm sitting outside it's actually a little bit warm today um which is nice like it's, it's nice that the weather is starting to warm up i'm probably going to come out of this um little sweater in just a few minutes but um so so far we're like maybe I feel like we have maybe a third of material left to do for this class. Um, the last thing that we did right before we broke for lunch was to watch a video on um, the video electronic notary um, process. And um, I actually, I remember watching some of that last night because it's actually on YouTube, but I YouTubed a bunch of videos on the electronic notary process for North Carolina. Um, just to kind of give me an idea. So it was kind of like I was re-watching some of the stuff, which is cool. So far, so good. Like, I don't think this is going to be a hard test at all. Um, I know it's like half multiple choice and half um, true or false. And like I said before, like the instructor is a gem. And it looks, I'm going to think positive and say that I've already passed this test and that I've gotten my notary um, certification and all is well so 
Um, like I said, I'm gonna get ready and head back in. I got some cheer wine that I've been drinking. Um, I'm gonna head back in and just kind of settle back into the classroom, get back in AC. And um, I will check back in with you guys when I leave out. So when I come back, I will have already taken the test. So I'll know like whether I passed or not, so. Oh my God, y'all, I passed. I passed, I passed, oh my God. I'm so happy right now. Oh, let me take this off. Oh my God, it was so nerve wracking. And I actually went back and made changes to several of my answers. Um, like a couple of my changes, I didn't even have to change because I would have gotten it right if I left it how it was. But in the end, I passed. I needed an 80 or better and I made an 86. So I passed. I'm getting ready to get in my car now and head home. All right, y'all. So really quickly before I leave, because I'm ready to get home to my babies now, but, well, they're not babies, but you know what I mean. I'm ready to get home to my kids. Oh my God, I passed. I passed, I passed, I passed. I am so grateful and thankful. That was like, seriously, it was kind of nerve wracking, honestly. Um, ugh, I don't even know what to say at this point. Honestly, we had a really, really, really good instructor. I will say that much. Um, we had a really good instructor. Um, she went over everything, like her delivery is good. She was cracking jokes with us. She explained things, she gave us examples. I will let you know, like, and I read this too, that if you're going to take this course, to take it at a smaller community college. I'm here in Rocky Mount, I'm at Edgecombe Community College. Um, and to take it at a smaller college, because A, like you're in a much smaller classroom, so there's not a lot of pressure on you. Like there were only seven other people, seven other students in class with me today, you know, aside from the instructor. So right there, like eight people in a classroom, that takes off a lot of pressure. You don't have as many people like asking questions so you have more time i feel like the instructor can give you more time um what else what else what else what else study the book and i say that knowing that i didn't study the book <laughs> i didn't study i didn't fully study the book okay so i got the book about a week ago and this past week if you know if you've been following my other videos has been extremely busy for me you know we're just now able to get furniture and stuff for the house so anyway we're doing a lot of shopping and organizing and putting together things so it's been really hectic but um why is the ac not let me see hold on i gotta get some air y'all and i apologize if you can't hear me let me turn this down some okay i'm gonna try to make this quick because it's hot but um, study the book. You can order the book online. Make sure you get a valid copy. So I would order from the North Carolina Department of State uh, website, which is where I got mine from. You can also get them on Amazon, but honestly, just order it from the the North Carolina Department of the Secretary of State. I think the book is like 20 or $25 if I remember. Um, study those definitions because that is honestly where you're going to get tripped up at. That's where I got tripped up at second guessing myself like no that means this or no that's not really that. There were some tricky questions there honestly. Um, so yeah definitely study those definitions. Read the whole book. I read maybe a quarter of it last night. Um, Maybe I would have done better if I had actually read the book in its entirety, but thanks to God, like I passed it, I passed it. So that part is over. Um, so let me say this also, the whole process, you sign up to take the notary class. And like I said, take it at a smaller community college, you'll thank me later. Once you sign up, I, but I paid like $70. That's another thing too. If you take it at a smaller community college, it's cheaper, okay? Cheaper. Um, take the class. One, at the end of the class, you'll be given a test like we did today. And if you pass that class, then you can apply, you can do the application, which I have right now. Um, let me see. Let me see what it's called. It's called application for initial appointment as a North Carolina notary public. So once you pass the course, the instructor signs it like she did here and dates it. And then I pay another $50 and mail that in um, to apply. And then once that is approved, there's another document that I'll receive back. Um, I forgot what it's called now, but it's where I go in and I get swear sworn in. Um, and that is $10 as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then after that process, you order like your instruments, your seal or stamp. Um, oh, and you get your, um, 
your little book. It's kind of like a receipt book, but it's not called that. It's called something else. <laughs> I told you those definitions will get you. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And you're once you um, once you are appointed, you're good for five years. Uh, so anyway, guys, I passed. I passed my notary exam. Um, so that's amazing. I am headed home and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Um, maybe that you didn't know, or if you've been curious about becoming a notary public, um, I think it's a really good thing to have. Like people have gone on to become loan agents, um, and other things, or you can just, you know, just do it as like a side little hustle, you know, to each his own. So be sure to like, comment and subscribe guys. I'm trying to reach my goal of a thousand subscribers so I can get monetized on YouTube. And um, so I really need you guys to subscribe to my channel, watch my videos and help me out with that goal. Hey y'all, so I made it back home. I just wanted to say to you all, if you have a dream, if you have a goal, a dream, a vision, don't give up don't give up do whatever it takes to reach your goal i have been wanting to become a notary for like years now like i've been thinking about it and talking about it talking about it with friends and finally this year like it came up again in conversation and i was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Like, I'm finally gonna go ahead and do this. And I'm so happy I did. I was nervous, um, but I went ahead, I went through with it. And I'm, I'm very happy that I did. I'm happy with the outcome and I can't wait to submit my application and get sworn in. Like, I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited for what um, this can mean for my family. So anyway, follow your dreams, follow your heart, keep an open mind, stay positive. And um, yeah, that's kind of my message for today. What's so crazy is that the time today that I spent inside the classroom, like, you know, studying and reading material and working on um, vocabulary and definitions and things like that, like it really, like it made me miss being in the classroom, um, in the student's desk. Not the teacher's desk, but it really, it really made me miss being in the classroom. Uh, I miss my time at East Carolina. I really, really do. I miss it. So I don't know. I've been toying with the idea of going back and um, getting a doctorate degree, um, maybe psychology or something like that. Um, there's some studies about my family that I really would love to do. Um, research. I should say about my family. So, um, but anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd share that little tidbit. Like I, I really, like I recognize that today, like, wow, I really, this is really fun. Like I really enjoy this. I enjoy my instructor. I enjoy the, my fellow classmates. It was really cool. So who knows what the future will hold in that aspect. I hope you guys enjoyed my little trip to, um, Rocky Mount. I haven't been to Rocky Mount in like ages, but yeah. I know the past 12 months has been really crazy for a lot of people, myself included. It's been a lot of ups and downs, but we just got to keep pushing. You just, you have to keep pushing. You cannot give up. So that's my message for today. Never give up. Never give up. Anyway, I'm going to go and I hope you guys continue to enjoy the rest of this day. The sun is still out a little bit. So enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.